Hi, I'm Jenny with Sharp. Today we're going to talk about document filing. Why would I use it? So there's a few reasons. We can actually scan documents that we don't have electronic into that hard drive. Maybe I have forms that I want to retrieve, a vacation request or sick time, and that you reprint those all the time. Or you're at your computer. You have something that's confidential. You want to be able to send it to the hard drive of the copier with a password, be able to slowly walk here and not run, and be able to go in and actually put that password in and release your document. Or I'm at my desk. I want to print onto letterhead. I don't want to run here, load the letterhead, run back to my desk, and then print the letterhead. I want to be able to print it, walk over, load the letterhead, and then release it. Have you ever had when you walk to the copier a little bit later and your documents are gone because someone accidentally took that with theirs? So you can be able to print and release it at your leisure. All right. So let me show you the first way is basically loading it at the copier. There's two different ways to do it. We can do it with copy features, without copy features. What do we mean by with? Staple, I want it always coming out double sided. So I can actually go into the copy and say this particular document, every time I print it through the document filing, I would like it stapled. Instead of pressing start, there is something over here. It says file, store data in a folder. And I would give it a name. What is this? So I could actually, oops, touch the file name, pull out my keyboard. I'm just going to say dog. And then press start. It'll actually make a copy. It'll actually staple it and give me a sample. And the reason it gives me a sample is it wants to say, hey, this is what it's going to look like every time. Do you realize that? Once I get my copy and I look at it and see, yes, this is in fact how I want it. To retrieve the document, you have something called document filing. You have two folders. There's a main folder and a quick folder. I don't put anything typically in the quick because if you turn on and off the copy or whatever's in there it goes away, it's quick. The main folder is the default. You can get custom folders, just talk to your sales rep. But right now, there is my dog. It would be as easy as that, how many copies do I want? And start. Also, say that this one time I'm like, mm, I don't need it stapled. I can go into choose print settings and I could take that staple off for that one time. It would go back for the next person to staple. I can also delete the document if it's now not, we're not going to use it. Or I want to delete it right after I print it because I don't want that anymore, but I need that last copy. The other style of going into document filing is if I don't need any copy features, I just want this page to go right in. I'll go to my document filing. I'll go to scan to local drive. At this time, I'm going to name it. So this one will be dog two and what folder I want to store it to and press start. It immediately scans it into it. It doesn't need to give us a sample. It is immediately in there. So now to retrieve it, I'll go into the main folder and there's my dog too. So again, I can just print now. I can delete it. If I ask for color, I could say, oh, this particular time I want it in black and white. But I can also still go into that choose print settings and say, you know what, this one time I do want it stapled. But Next time, it's not going to be. So basically, the two ways to get it in there is, do I want it with, kind of marry the copy features with it so it comes out automatically, or just say I have one page documents that I want to store on my hard drive. Let's walk over to the computer and show you how to get the documents into the hard drive from your computer. All right, now I'm at the PC. I'm going to walk through on the print driver how to get a document to the hard drive of our copier. Now, why would you want to do that? There's a couple reasons. This particular document that I have is confidential. 
I am not near my copier. And so I want to be able to send it to the hard drive with a pin code. That way, I'm the only one that can retrieve that document and I don't have to run. Another way, I want to load labels in my bypass. I don't want to run to the MFP, load the labels, and then run back to my computer to send the labels. Or I, don't, I am down the hall. I'm quite a ways from my MFP, and I have a lot of jobs I'm printing, and I don't want people to accidentally pick them up. So as you can see, there's a few reasons. So let me kind of show you the different ways and options that you can use. First, we're gonna go under File Print and choose our Sharp MFP and go under the Properties. So an easy, quick way, hey, I just wanna get it in to the main folder that's under Document Filing on the screen of the copier. You just click Hold Only. At this point, it's as easy as just click Hold Only. It goes into the hard drive. It shows up as the file name and you can release it. But say, as I was talking about, this is confidential. So right here, you can click pin code and put in a five to eight digit numeric password. And then I can click OK and print and it would send with that passcode. When I walk up to the device, I'm actually just clicking document filing. And when I choose my job, it will require that pin for me to release it. That is our kind of quick, easy way. You can also go under job handling. It very much has the same document filing button and has that hold only and has the pin, but an addition is you can store to a custom folder. You can actually have custom folders created on your device because maybe I, I'm HR and I want to print to my folder and I don't want everybody else in the main folder to see my documents. I want to create my own custom folder that I can send jobs into. That custom folder, someone like HR, may want that password protected. So that is also an option. So you could work with your salesperson to create those custom folders.